Ho ho ho, welcome to the Night Tube. I'm Stephen Knight, host of the Godless Spellchecker podcast. Christmas is almost upon us, which means it's nearly time to break out that really shit Christmas jumper or um, sweater if you're stateside. Crack open the scotch and pay tribute to everybody's favourite zombie carpenter. Okay, that's enough of the jingly shit. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about the Christmas shoebox appeal, or more specifically, why you may wish to avoid it like sprouts on a Christmas dinner. <laughs> Many of you will already be familiar with the Christmas shoebox appeal, but for those that aren't, it's a popular charitable activity where you take an ordinary empty shoebox, wrap it up in Christmas paper, and fill it with old or unwanted toys and various other bits, which you then hand over to the charity at their designated collection point, and then they ship it out to children in far less privileged parts of the world to bring them some much needed festive joy. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Who, who wouldn't want to help with a cause like that? Um, you may end up participating in this cause because your work have sent you an email to let you know they're running a, a Christmas shoebox appeal. Your child may bring a letter home from your local school to let you know the school is supporting it. Uh, but either way, there's a few things you may not be fully aware of about this charitable cause. The first thing you need to do is find out the name of the charity behind it. Uh, it's more than likely that this will be Operation Christmas Child, which is run by uh, an organization called the Samaritan's Purse. Here's three things you may not know about the Samaritan's Purse. In at number one, you've guessed it, it's religion. As the late great Christopher Hitchens said, peace be upon him, um, <laughs> the religion poisons everything uh, and charity is certainly no exception. The Operation Christmas Child shoebox appeal is run by an evangelical Christian organisation called the Samaritan's Purse. Uh, a mission statement from their website reads, Samaritan's Purse is a non-profit Christian organization providing emergency blah 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 and assistance to blah 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 is with the aim of demonstrating God's love and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Whilst these evangelical goals are clearly stated on the website for all to see, uh, they're sometimes absent when it comes to recruiting the general public to participate in the Christmas shoebox appeal. Here's a promotional video from Operation Christmas Child, just to give you a, a little flavour of how much ideology plays a part in the work they do. Operation Christmas Child! It's an exciting programme that with your prayers has the power to bring children to through a simple shoebox that can change a child's life forever. Operation Christmas Child not only brings happiness, but more importantly, the hope of Jesus Christ to some of the neediest children in the world. Volunteers are essential, packing shoeboxes and working in collection and processing centers. During thousands of shoebox distributions each year, the gospel message is presented to children. God loves you so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to this earth. Booklets in 70 different languages explain God's plan for each child's life. And through the Operation Christmas Child Discipleship Program, over one and a half million children have accepted Christ. Yeah, okay, so the last part was actually imagery from North Korea, but I think you get the point. In at number two, Franklin fucking Graham. The Samaritan's Purse organisation is run by Franklin Graham, uh, son of notorious preacher Billy Graham. He appears to have continued his father's legacy for homophobia, making zero attempts to conceal it or make it separate from the work he does with the Samaritan's Purse. Franklin Graham chooses to publish opinion opposing marriage equality, for instance, on the Samaritan's Purse official website. This is the very same site that acts as a base of operation for the shoebox appeal. He also vented his frustration on social media because the Boy Scouts of America voted in favour of allowing gay scout leaders. He said, and I quote, Why would anyone want to entrust their son to an organisation that has gone in this direction? Yeah, best just play it safe and send them off to Catholic school instead. He also um, supported an evangelical Christian organisation called World Vision when they announced they would no longer be providing employment for same-sex couples, saying, 
In our country today, there is a tremendous pressure on Christians' churches and Christian organisations to lower our moral standards. God is clear in his word, and his standards never change. I am thankful that Christians across the country urged World Vision to reverse their decision, and prayed fervently that they would do so. Three cheers. What a dick. Franklin Graham also closed his accounts with Wells Fargo when they released advertisements featuring lesbian couples. He also encouraged uh, other American citizens to boycott corporations doing the same thing. It's a TV commercial airing for Wells Fargo whose punchline involving two mommies is an affirmation of diversity to some, but a punch in the gut to others. One of those others is evangelist Franklin Graham, who says he's pulling the financial accounts of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association from Wells Fargo calling its ad, Moral Decay Being Crammed Down Our Throats. Graham's comments on Facebook call for a boycott of gay-friendly companies saying, let's stop doing business with those who stand against Almighty God's laws. Reason number three, proselytizing and indoctrination. There's no good reason to believe this entire charitable initiative isn't just a way of preying on young, vulnerable minds to further a conservative Christian ideology. Um, did you see the leaflets the children were reading in the promotional video that I displayed earlier. Um, that's a pamphlet titled The Most Important Story Ever Told, which is a bold claim for something that has zero references to the Millennium Falcon. What's contained in this glossy cartoon Christian propaganda is fairly predictable. Adam and Eve creation stories, how amazing our man Jesus is, but towards the end it gets a little bit more sinister. The pamphlet instructs the children to pray to God in order to secure his forgiveness. The children are also encouraged to fill in their details and literally sign themselves over to the Lord. There have also been allegations and concerns that some of these leaflets have been bundled into the boxes without the uh, knowledge of the people who've donated them. In fact, a representative of the organisation had this to say about the donated shoeboxes. Every gift fill shoebox is a powerful tool for evangelism and discipleship, transforming the lives of children around the world through the good news of Jesus Christ. It's clear to me that the Samaritan's Purse is exploiting the idea of charity just to further their Christian beliefs, and for this, I would recommend supporting secular alternatives and secular causes instead. If you go to the video description, I provided a link uh, where you can find a list of these secular alternatives. I also want to say a special thanks to the National Secular Society, the British Humanist Association and Emma Williams for their articles and, and research on this, which I have borrowed from heavily. They'll also be included in the information link below. Also, is your child's school participating in the Christmas shoebox appeal? Uh, send them a letter. I've heard from parents who have done exactly that and the school have then withdrawn their support for the charity. I even have a template of a letter uh, from a parent who did this to some success uh, on my website which is also in the link below which you can print off and amend how you like but it, it contains all the necessary information. Uh, if you are someone who does that let me know how you get on, I'd love to hear about it. Please remember to click on subscribe and, and like this video and send it in the direction of people who might not be aware of what this charity is all about. Uh, you can keep up to date on my blog uh, and my YouTube channel and my podcast at gspellchecker.com. You can help support the content that I create by becoming a patron on patreon.com forward slash gspellchecker. Thank you for watching. Got a remote. Ho ho ho, welcome to the Night Tube, I'm Stephen Knight, and here's my cat. Doing a video. Doing a video.